In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to run the Y cross concept out of the bunch tight end formation in Madden 23. This concept out of bunch tight end can be ran in a couple of different ways. And I'm gonna show you two of my favorites in the video. If you wanna get my entire gun bunch tight end offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. The play PA boot over is probably the best version of any kind of cross concept out of bunch tight end. And again, there's multiple ways to run the concept. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and flip the play. The primary reason we're flipping the play is because our quarterback is left-handed. It's going to make him have a faster handoff animation. If you don't have a left-handed quarterback, go ahead and leave the play stock like this and it's going to work better for you because again, you just want the, the running back to be on the side of your quarterback's throwing arm. All right, so flip PA boot over, you're gonna get a faster handoff animation. Now the best way, um, th there's several different ways to run Y cross, okay? Um, the first thing that I wanna show you is actually kind of a setup out of bunch, uh, but it's actually probably better in in, in bunch tight end because of how good of a route CD Lamb is on. We're going to take advantage of that route. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, Tyreek Hill. We're going to put him on a slant and then we're going to streak our tight end. So you see, this is what the play art looks like. And all we're going to do is we're going to motion Tyreek out to the left and we're going to snap the ball. And this is a version of the Y cross concept. If you think about Y cross, um, just going to illustrate uh, more of a spaced out version of it. Go to Trips Tight End and show it to you. So Y cross, if you think about it, really it looks like this. Um, you're going to have some semblance of a backside dig. You're going to have a crosser. You're going to have a speed out route. And you're going to have a vertical. And then the back can flare like to the backside flat. Or you can block the back and it can be ran like this. Okay, so this is one variation of the concept. But if we go back to the bunch tight end, if you look at CeeDee Lamb, he's attacking that same area that the tight end out route would be. He's just doing it from the other side of the field. Okay, and then Tyreek Hill, we can put him on a smart route and in, or we can put him on a slant. And because we can motion snap this slant, it's gonna delay the route and it's gonna come over the middle right in that little pocket right there. It makes this play super, super powerful uh, against any kind of man coverage look because you basically have uh, three different options that are really difficult to use her if you think about it. Um, as you'll see here, this crosser is pretty effective against man coverage, still one of the better man beating routes in the game. And then like I showed you before, so let's say that the user uh, decides, let's say like in this example, this is the user here. So let's say the user decides, okay, I've got to take, I've got to go from CD Lamb to the crosser. So I'm going to be in kind of a mid read type of zone, uh, which is what a lot of people will do. What the beauty of this play is they go there, boom, no, and then I can go right in there. Okay. So I'm looking left to right essentially. Uh, and really what I'm looking at is my crossing route to CeeDee Lamb, and then I'm looking at my crossing route to Christian Kirk, and then I'm looking at my crossing route to Tyree Kill. So super effective play that spaces out the field really, really well, and it actually simplifies uh, a lot of your post-snap read progression, okay? Now this play is also really good against zone um, because you're going to be attacking the zone at different points across the formation. So if we take a look at this here, Oops, let me reset the play. I apologize. Um, so, again, here it is against zone. We're looking streak. No. Can we throw the flat? Yep, we can throw the flat, so we'll take the flat. Okay, super simple, right? Now, the beauty of uh, – beauty and curse of bunch tight end is the fact that it's compressed. So, this streak route to George Kittle, ideally we want to run that – when he is on the short side of the field. So in this example, if we want to run this with our running back to the left, then we want to run it to the left hash mark. What you'll notice in this is this crosser, you can actually high point it and kind of cut it off in the middle of the field right there. If you wait on this crosser to actually cross the formation, um, specifically against like a cover four style of play, you're going to find here that this crosser Yes, you can kind of throw it, but it's it's definitely not as good as it's been in years past against 
like a baseline press cover four. So again, if they baseline press their cover four, um, it can just make it a little challenging. I'll show you another setup in a second that's going to help with that. Um, you know, but again, here if you watch, you know that that's pretty good defense on that play. So cover three, cover two, though you're still going to be in business with this again zone. And what this does is it funnels them into double Mabel coverage, right? Um, so now they're funneled into this double flat coverage. Um, and then the user is going to be kind of hanging out in no man's land right here. So oftentimes what's going to happen is this user is going to play some type of mid read type of zone. And what, you, what you're going to be able to do is this little backside slant because it's kind of delayed coming over the middle. He's going to kind of get open right in that little pocket where that backside dig would be maybe even a little bit better. Now, I said I wanted to give you an alternate setup in case your opponent is running uh, a lot of baseline and press cover four drop. And also, just in general, if they're, if they're you know stopping this play, what can you do differently? And it's really the secondary setup. So what I like to do with this is we are going to out route our tight end. We're going to in route our running back. We're going to streak CD Lamb, and we're going to curl Tyreek Hill. This is really good for any kind of double Mabel defense you might be facing. And it's also really good for if they're playing uh, a lot of baseline press cover four because now your first read is going to be your fade. Your second read is going to be your little out route. Your third read is going to be your crosser. And your fourth read is going to be your curl and your flat with uh, buyers there. So streak, no. Corner route, no. Boom, boom. But now you see cover four can't really guard that route. So this is a great way to run this play uh, if you're in a situation. And this is one of the versions of the play that you can run on either hash mark. It's not hash mark dependent. And it's actually probably even a little better uh, to the left, to the, to the, like if you're running your crosser from the short side of the field, because now your crosser has a lot more room to work in the middle of the field. And if you watch it, get across the field, you see how deep it gets, that's going to give you a pretty good shot to be able to get over any deep zone drops on that side of the field. So that's another little point uh, with this play. This is one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden, and it's one of the best concepts in Bunch Tight End. Now, if you want to get my entire Bunch Tight End offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is in the description below.